Okay, so we're going to practice a little bit of horseless horse archery where we're going to ride in and shoot, ride parallel to the line and shoot, ride away doing the parting shot. So we can practice it like this. As we ride in, we take our shot, then we will ride parallel. So we'll just keep moving. There's just a lot of snow on the ground. And we ride parallel. And then as we get away, we start to ride back into the line. And as we ride back, we take a parting shot, turn our horse around, we start riding in, we ride in, take our shot, get our horse going parallel. As we go parallel, we take our shot, as we ride away, once again, over the shoulder, and we take our shot. Okay, so that's a, a simple way that you can do the same routine as a horse archer without a horse. Uh, I've seen the Turks and different horse people uh, practicing like that. Uh, also, a foot soldier can practice like that. Uh, there are times when you're going to be running in. Uh, there are times when you have to go parallel to the enemy, and there are times when you're running away. Uh, one of the better ways of uh, fighting in a medieval time is to have a battle, in a, or battle friend, and your battle friend is going to confront the enemy with his spear, or sword, or axe, and the archer will walk around to the side and drill him from, you know, five, eight yards, not far, uh, so, practicing moving on foot uh, is worthwhile if you have an interest in learning how to shoot uh, like a archer uh, in the past. And uh, basically, uh, the whole idea was simply to drill them. Okay, so if you practice that and uh, you get a piece of cardboard you know, about the size of the body of a uh, warrior. Uh, you can practice that historical type of shooting. Anyhow, have fun, take care, keep shooting those bows.